This is Flutter Basics from the Flutter Guys YouTube channel. If your application needs to display some contents, it's quite common to separate the contents into multiple tabs. In Flutter creating such a layout can be done easily using tab bar and tab bar view widgets. Basically, in order to create a tab layout in Flutter, we need to implement the following steps. Create a tab controller, create a tab bar, and create a tab bar view. To make the tab layout work, we need to synchronize the selected tab with its contents, which is the job of the tab controller. We can create a tab controller manually or use an available widget, known as default tab controller, which supports some common features. Here we have to set the number of tabs we want in the length property. We also put a scaffold in child. We can place the tabs at the bottom of the app bar. For this we use the app bar property in the scaffold and create an app bar. I change the background color of the app bar and also set the title. To set the tabs, we use the bottom property in the app bar. Now here we are using the tab bar widget. In this widget we have a property called tabs that a list of tabs should be set. The length of our tabs is equal to 3, so we set 3 tabs. Now in the body, we must use the tab or view widget to display the content of the tabs. Tab or view has a property called children that we need to set the list of widgets. We can set any widget here. For example, I set 3 texts in the center of the screen. If we have many tabs, we can set the is scrollable property to true, and tabs scroll horizontally. For example, I increase the number of tabs from 3 to 6 and then set the is scrollable property to true, and now we can see that the tabs scroll horizontally. And finally, Tabber has various properties that you can easily use and customize the tabs. And make sure to hit the subscribe button to get next video.